Oh, you don't even need, you don't even need to set the hook. There, how are you? What is going on, everybody? We're out here today in Florida visiting of our family, my grandparents and aunt and uncle are out here. And this is actually my first time viewing this in the daylight and it's pretty beautiful. We're sleeping up here in this camper. We're at this uh, beautiful campground and uh, this is my uh, uncle's site. We got a little pond right here. There's some fish in this pond. Mainly what we're about to do is there's a river back there called the Peace River. And right now I'm gonna go to the bait shop, get some bait and tackle, and then try and catch us some Florida fish. I've never fished in Florida. I've never even been here before, but I'm pretty excited. Stick around. I think we're gonna get lucky and hook up on some, maybe some snook, bass, tarpon, catfish, I don't know. But let's get to it. I'm back. Got him. Got a fish, Gramps. Nice. Oh, I think I snagged it. Oh no. That's weird, because I set the hook when it went down. Yeah. So the tide's coming in. This is a tidal river and the tide comes in, goes up river, and then it hits slack tide and then it goes back out. So right now, it's pulling to the left, away from the gulf. So I, I saw the fish jumping right here, so I cast it to the right a little bit, so that it'll pull it down to the left. And this has got a circle hook on, so it just grabs the hook, grabs the fish, the bait, and then the circle hook sets the hook in its mouth itself. So you don't have to set the hook on these, so I'm just gonna leave it here and uh, we'll just keep an eye on it. Hang out, keep an eye on it. I think it's a catfish. Good lordy, that was in the in the water for what, 10 seconds? That was a good bite though, huh? Whew, that was exciting. The circle hook, hook did, did its job. Yeah, it's a little catfish, I think. That was Christine's cast, good job, Christine. I'm gonna do this fast. You wanna eat him for dinner, Gramps? No, he's not big enough to yeah, keep. We'll, we'll wait, wait oh, you got a gator right here, babe. Oh, <laughs> look at that gator. He saw it. He saw it. Gator's hanging out. He's he wants that it. fish. You put it back, it's going to eat it. All right, uh, I'm not going to feed this gator, but I am going to drop the fish back in and we'll see what happens. All right. Um, that gator didn't get him, but he's just hanging out right here. All right, so yesterday we came out and we got a couple bites, saw a couple gators. Grandpa scared all the fish away. Yeah. Today we come out to this new spot and um, what we're doing was we're just putting, just putting the head of the shrimp on, of the circle hook, a little less um, room for them to just steal our bait. And Christine casted it out, three minutes later, um, you, we didn't have the camera on, but three minutes later, fishing rod goes down with the circle hook and there was a little catfish. And then we bring it in and there's this guy. There's this guy just <laughs> hanging out right there. Oh, what? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I, I didn't scare the fish away. Yes, you did. So we're using just these little shrimp right here. Just put it right on a hook. Oh, getting a bite. Too late now. It's doing it. Why are you waiting on this dock? There are two rules in fishing. Oh, oh ho, ho, ho. you don't even need. You don't even need to set the hook. Coming. Oh, there it is. There it is. Yeah, there it is. Probably another catfish. It was just pecking at it, pecking at it. See, that's what we needed to do yesterday. We just needed to wait. Oh yeah, it's a bigger catfish. You wanna, you wanna fry it, Gramps? Oh, it's a lot bigger. I don't wanna oh. clean it, but I'll eat it. Walk him around. Hey, look at this. Here comes the gator. Yeah, I 
Get it on the camera. Here comes the gator. Oh, not for you, buddy. Not for you. So these catfish, I can't remember what they're called. I'll look it up. But they have a poisonous fin, I think. And they're not good for eating, I believe, if I remember correctly. So I gotta be careful when unhooking this guy. So I looked it up and I found out that that's called a gaff top sail, a top sail catfish. And um, it's not, the, the meat actually isn't poisonous. It's just the, uh, the fin. And if it pokes you when you're like handling it or something, it'll, the sting is poisonous. You can eat them. A lot of people don't because they just, they're kind of slimy and they create a mess. And uh, we chose to send it back. We might, if we catch another one, we might keep it. But that's the situation. Two fish caught, one gator, and uh, having a good time. Oh, you got him! Nice! Good job, babe! Yeah, babe. Gramp and I are chilling over here. We have one rod. Christine is using it over there. Oh, and yeah. we only have one rod because I broke a rod yesterday, which is a brand new $90 rod. And I'm gonna try and return it, but we'll see. Anyway, Christine's over there fishing, and uh, she had two fish on but they came off and the reason is they weren't grabbing the hook completely in their mouth and she was trying to set the hook, which is um, a circle hook so you're not gonna get the best hook set. Um, with me, I got lucky and um, they just chomped on it and they were set immediately. It's super hot right now. It's almost 90 degrees, 80% humidity and we're getting drenched. We would take a jump in the river but there's been a couple gators. Best thing I ever did, right? That was a good hook set. Christine's getting a lot of bites and she's trying to set the hook, but uh, so I'm gonna give her this hey. snell hook so that she can actually set the hook. It's a pretty good bait job. You think so? I think so. Make sure, just make sure that hook it. is showing. Yeah, Very nice. Right. I may be old, but I'm not stupid. Third day full of fishing, Christine's got something. Threw it out with her some shrimp and some squid, and she's bringing it in. What do you think it is? I don't know, but it doesn't feel like a fish. It doesn't feel like a fish? I don't know. We'll have to see. You think it is an alligator? It's going far? Yeah, the line just got pulled out. It pulled, it's pulling drag? No, it's moving. Oh. you see it? Yeah, well reel it in and see what you got. Keep reeling. I'm going. It's heavy. It might be the turtle. <laughs> it might be a turtle. <laughs> it might be an alligator. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Uh-oh. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> it's really hard to pull it. <laughs> it's really heavy. I see the sinker. You see what it is? No, I don't see what it is. Oh my god. Uh-oh. Oh, it's the turtle. Oh, no. It's a turtle. <laughs> <laughs> it's pull and drag. <laughs> I can't do anything. It's the turtle. Babe, I can't do anything. All your life's gonna be gone. It was huge. The drag just kept going and going and going. Yeah, it's right there. <gasps> oh, you got it on his mouth. You gotta let it go. Yeah, we're gonna let it go. I'm gonna get here. Hold on. I might be able to get the hook out. No, no, no. no, that's a no. Bite yeah. The fire out of you. Yep. Just do it real quick. Be careful. Big. Got something on. Whoa. I was just reeling it in and there was, it just was staying still. Whatever it is, it's staying down there. It's staying deep. Oh, it came off. No. No. 
Oh no, it came, it, but the it tore. Oh, what had happened? Oh, it looks like you got the hook. No. We are, yeah. You think it goes gar? Because they're, they're so hard, they're hooked, their mouth is just bone. Yeah. Oh, and they, they never moved the rod. Never moved yeah. the rod. And I was just reeling in, I thought it was a snag. It was like over here. It must have grabbed it and just moved real slow. Wow, that's that was real funny. <laughs> Jeez, gosh darn it. Fly fish for gar without a hook. They tie on. Oh yeah, rope. Rope. And the teeth right. get stuck in them. I've seen. I've heard of that. Yeah. I've heard of that. Yeah. I... All right. Here's the final product. I got a looped over, and I got a jig head on there. Okay. Maybe get some eyes. Before you cast it. Okay, and then I got a split shot on there, or egg weight to get me some Looking distance. Good to me. Now what they said is, when the fish hits, they said when the fish hits, you don't. Yeah. They said don't set the hook because you got to let the the teeth get all messed up in it. Don't know if we're ever going to make it out of here alive. Gramps is on the loose. <laughs> Old man driving. Uh-oh. You do have still have your license, right? <laughs> yeah. Thanks for sticking around, guys. Another great fishing adventure with Gramps. Well, it was wonderful. Doesn't look familiar. Day of fishing. Can't leave any trash. Don't pick up your trash. That's rule number 41. Oh, I think that's like rule number two. Rule number <laughs> two or three. Pretty higher up on there, but. Okay, guys. See you yeah. next time. Don't forget, you can get it subscribed to us and get it every week. <laughs> yes. Strength into his small child of weakness, watch and pray. Find in me thy all in all. Jesus made it all, all to him I owe. Sin had left a crimson stain. He Fountain filled with blood, drawn from Emmanuel's veins, and sinners sponge beneath that flood, lose all their guilty stain, lose all their guilty stain, lose all their guilty.